Yonder comes a courteous knight, lustily raking over the hay. He was well aware how of a bonny lass, as over the fields she made her way. Then she sang down the dumb hay, down dairy, then she sang down the dumb hay, down dairy. Jove, you speed, fair lady, said he, amongst the roses that be so red. If I do not have my will of you, full soon, fair lady, I shall be dead. Then she sang down the down, hey, down there, then she sang down the down, hey, down there. If you will carry me, gentle sir, a maid unto my father's hall, there you shall have your will of me, under purple and under pall. Then she sang down the down, hey, down there, then she sang down the down, hey, down there. But when they came to her father's hall, it was well watered round about. She rode in through the wicket gate and left the forehead fool without. Then she sang down the down, hey, down dairy. Then she sang down the down, hey, down dairy. Who had me abroad in the field amongst the rushes that be he so brown? You could have had your will of me, but you not the face to lay me down. Then she sang down and down, hey, down dairy. Then she sang down and down, hey, down dairy. He drew out that brown sword and wiped the rust off of his if you have your own true love, a mile or so outside of town, spare not for her gay clothing, but lay her body flat on the ground. Then she sang down the down, hey, down dairy, then she sang down the down, hey, down dairy. Then she sang down the down, hey, down dairy. As if the goddess Venus, she herself had been there 
A hundred many a smirking a smile she gave, a hunter the leaves so green. Ah, although she was perceived, she thought she was not seen. At length she changed her countenance and sang a mournful song, lamenting her misfortune as she stayed a pain so long. Sure, young men are hot-hearted, and know not what they do. Or else they lack for compliment, pretty maidens for to do. Why should young virgins pine away, and lose their chiefest prime? And all for want of sweethearts, to cheer us from given time. The young man heard her ditty, and could no longer stay. But straight unto the damsel, with speed he made his way. Now when he had played unto her, one merry note or two, then she was so rejoiced, she knew not what to do. God of mercy, come, thou art a lively lad. Thou hast the finest whistle that had never come and had. Now fare thee well, brave common, I bid thee well to fare. For thou hast used me kindly, as a he can well declare. Let other maids say what they will, the truth of all is so. The bonny commons whistle shall for my money go. Secure. 
asleep, it is disturbed with visions strange to know, and with dreams on the streams when the stormy winds do blow. Sometimes we sail to the Indies to fetch some spices there. Sometimes again to France and Spain for wines beyond compare. Whilst gallants are carousing in taverns on a row, then we'll sweep o'er the deep when the stormy winds do blow. When we return in safety with wages for our pain, the taxer and the vintner will help us share our gain. We'll call for liquor roundly and pay before we go. Then we'll roar on the shore when the stormy winds do blow. Sir Eglon, more that valiant knight With his warlock, and He fetched his sword and he went to fight With his warlock, and And as he rode o'er hill and dale All clothed in his coat of mail With his warlock, warlock, and A huge great dragon leapt out of his den With his Lord knows how many men will his father But when he saw Sir Eglamour, good luck, have you seen how this dragon did roar? With his father, father, this dragon he had a play behind with his father, which could both sword and spear abide with his father, he could not enter with axe and cuts, which vexed the knight to his very heart's blood and guts. With his father, but now as the night in collar did burn with his father, he owed that dragon a shrewd good turn With his father, In at his mouth his sword he bent The hilt appeared at his bundy men With his father, The dragon like a coward began to fly With his father, Unto his den that was hard by With his father, Vexed for his sword with his father, When all this was done to the alehouse, he went with his father, and by and by his tuppence he spent with his father, He was so hot with thugging with a dragon that nothing would quench him but a whole flagon with his father. Now God preserve our king and queen With his father, Lanky And egg in London may be seen With their father, Lanky As many nights and as many more And all so good as the egg no more With his father, Lanky Dumbly Celia was learning on the spinet to play, her tutor beside her to show her, to show her, to show her, to show her the way. For when Celia was learning, which angered him much, and made him by making by zones, tis a long play. To show her a long brick, to show her brick, no other way. When she knows the lady, which I am in my and say to him and say, and I say, tis a long brick, I will shake it a long brick, a long brick, I told you again. When she knows the learning of the spell, it's on flesh, 
As they have been slain on my shoulders, tis a long break. I will show it a long break. I will show it to my shoulder the way. When Celia was learning on the spin at the May, as they have been slain on my shoulders, tis a long break. I
now will I take to me my beast, Paul, and my soldier hook. And they will I for them that may or or I may not pass a truck. Yes, 